Now, this is what I'm going to find out if you're a real nigga, dog. Oh, you a fan of uh, the Wayne Brothers? The show? Yeah. Nah. Dawes. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! What up, man? It's your boy Shaw. Shaw vs. A Bite Podcast, episode 197. Hey, man, we ain't had no RB uh, guy singer in a minute on the show, man. You know what I'm saying? We had a whole bunch of chicks on here. Is that disrespectful? Call them chicks, ladies, whatever, the dog. Ladies. <laughs> We're going to correct them. It's the ladies. For sure, for sure. But we got singer, songwriter, producer, father, husband. <laughs> Javante Davis. Everything in the motherfucker building. Hey, and when I say father, I mean father. <laughs> Hey, dog, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Man, we hey, since we off camera, we was laughing by it. I just got to, you know saying, start with the, you know saying, husband, father, man. Mm -hmm. Talk about that, man. Like, you know saying, you got nice amount of kids and stuff like that, man. You've been married, I don't know, probably some, quite some time. Yeah, I've been married for about, about a, almost a year. Oh, a year? Okay, yeah. okay. So you, you, mm -hmm. new, you new to the married game. Yeah, all the other kids came from <laughs> other, other situations. <laughs> you were out doing my thing. For sure. You know, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, it's a blended uh, family though thing. Okay, you know what okay. I'm saying? So, yeah. How has it been a husband, man, for a year, man? Like, have anything changed? Everybody talk about it's a change from, you know what I'm saying, just being in a relationship to, you know, stepping over to that married life. I mean, it's a, um, it's an adjustment from being like a, a eligible bachelor for so long. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then had to just stick to, to one. For sure. You know what I'm saying? It was a huge adjustment for me. So I just had to make sure I was mentally ready. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the whole big change and everything. And it's just that one person that just make you want to just Give make it, that yeah, change. Yeah, hell yeah. So, no, fast. So you find that one, you can't let it go. Yeah. So I just stuck on to that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Now, I can imagine you said, you know, back when you was you fooling. Talk about when you was take take you all. Oh, damn. He went way different. Yeah. Hey, what, you, what, what was the wild shit you were doing, dog? This nigga, what shit? Uh, <laughs> before you was married, you know what I'm saying? You was all, like, yeah. you know, you was wild, boy. You said it, yeah, because it was just a um, <laughs> tell you wild, boy. It was a name that they would just always saying every time they see me, like, boy, you a wild nigga, like, because yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just the women, the yeah. um, the the partying, the drinking, mm -hmm. the just the whole young nigga lifestyle shit, mm -hmm. just out here just wilding, yeah, and it just stuck. <laughs> you got a uh, a wild drunk story you can tell us on camera that won't get you in no trouble. A wild drunk story. No, cause I be uh I don't really get too drunk. Yeah. I'm just just wild well, I used to be just wild just off my energy. For sure. You know what for that's sure. just the, the energy I bring. But I don't got no no too many drunk stories. I got stories about other people, but I don't want to put other people yeah, in. No, you can't you do that. No, so, no, 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 no. Yeah, well, I had to bring up the tell you wild man, see like you know what I'm saying, how how you was back in the day. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, that's some wild shit for you to bring that shit up. That's <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's good. You doing your whole work. I man, I try, man, I try, bro. Yeah. But we start every uh episode with salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them their flowers, you mm -hmm. know, make that long ass Facebook status about how we love him and her. Mm -hmm. Instead of giving them that love while you can, you know what I'm saying, still receive it. But it can't be an easy answer. It can't be your wife, kids, or parents. Okay. You got somebody you want to show some love to? Uh, shit, I'm just going to shout out uh, my team. Uh, we uh basically starting from the ground up, and mm -hmm. I just see how passionate that, you know what I'm saying, they are about me. It just makes me want to go harder, you know what I'm saying? So, sure. And I just appreciate them a lot. So shout out to y'all. Mm -hmm. What made you like, like I'm, I'm, you know, so your manager hit me up uh, through a DM to get you on the show. Mm -hmm. What make you like when you decide to get with a team with a manager, like what do you look for in that person that you can trust them and you can rock with? Uh, it's just about uh, shit, basically the energy that they give. Mm -hmm. Um, He came with a uh, good energy. You know what I'm saying? I've been knowing him since we was younger and it's always been that way. You know what I'm saying? He's been a solid dude. Mm -hmm. And first we started off with like just doing music together when we was younger, like just rapping and all that shit. Mm -hmm. And then I converted over to singing, and you know, what I'm saying you know, yeah. it started happening. So we part ways, but we always found our way back to each other. So For sure, he was more so wanting to take up more so on, on that kind of role. So you know, what I'm saying you just start putting people in positions where you know, what I'm saying you felt like they're strong as that, mm -hmm. and that's where he fit. And he been going hard at it, and it's been working. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the ball rolling. Can y'all have those uncomfortable conversations when he feel like? You ain't up on your game or vice versa? All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, the been, time. have it been one that y'all had to kind of like take a break? Like, all right, I don't need to talk to you for a couple of days. Nah, because um, with the way my mindset works is we can talk it out 
Mm-hmm. Everything is all good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't like holding like that bad energy towards nobody. For sure. So if I got a problem with you, yeah. we're going to step to the side. We're going to talk to her like men. We're going to handle it. For sure. It, words, when it comes to women, my relationships, all that, yeah. that's just how I handle shit. So yeah. it's never that we go on days without talking to each other. For sure. Like, for sure. Good, but fuck it up even worse. Yeah, that shit weird as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, for sure. You need those conversations because I believe those early conversations are needed because I feel like if you don't have those, once the money come in, that's when shit gonna just start deteriorating, man. Mm-hmm. Everything gonna fuck, fuck up and fall apart because you see a lot of people come in together but as soon as that bad come in, it's like, damn, what happened to such and such? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Team just, hey, we don't fuck with each other no more. Yeah. All because of bad. And I, I don't want that shit because we, what we build is like it's like a family structure. So mm-hmm. Everybody is family. He's my brothers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how we move. What was your rap name? Uh, I went by Young Skill. Young skill back in the day. What made you? Uh, Cause I could tell, listen, and also your music that you had some bars and shit, dog. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So- when I when I decided to um to start doing the singing shit, I mean people always said I was like a little melodic with my raps and all that stuff before mm-hmm. that was like a big thing. But um I basically just started teaching myself how to really sing. So mm-hmm. I started listening to certain artists, you know what I'm saying, that I gravitated towards yeah. and just trying to follow what they were doing and try to make shit my own. Mm-hmm. And then that's what created my sound that yeah. I got. Shit. Yeah. Everybody was young, dog. I was young shot. You know what I'm saying? Back when I try to rap, man, but <laughs> I gave up on it, man. Yeah, I, I stick was, with this podcast yeah. shit, dog. <laughs> like I said, we got to navigate to where we, we strongest at. And, sure, and that sure. singing is what, you know what I'm saying, got people noticed. They, they yeah. got me noticed for real because they were like, damn, yeah. the voice different. Yeah. So that rapping shit, just imagine that voice on the rap on the script. I was going to ask you, would you ever go back to the. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He said, fuck that shit. You found your line, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man, for sure. We're, no, we're going to get back to the music, but man, it's 20. It's 2024. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We damn near, shit, we damn near halfway through almost. All so shit going by quit. What was some shit that you went into the new year, like, wanting to achieve personally and on the music side? Like, some shit you wanted to change, some shit you wanted to continue on doing? Like, man, I've been, uh, I've been real big on, um, just leading in every situation, just leading with love, mm-hmm. um, and getting my mental health and my, uh, my health, you know what I'm saying, under control. So, mm-hmm. that, I'm real big on that this year. So, yeah. Who can you talk to as far as your mental health? Like, when you, when you off, when you off a little bit, when things that you ain't moving right, like, who can you talk to and shit just to, Kind of get you back on your shit. Friends, my wife, mm-hmm. kids. You know, I have conversations with my kids. Yeah. You know, so they can get, you know what I'm saying, a better understanding. Like when you're going through something, it's instead of holding shit in, mm-hmm. you just talk about it, express yourself. Yeah, yeah. Just give them that look. Because we ain't had that shit. Hell no. You know, we had to hold all that shit in. For sure. And Deal you start with figuring it. it out when we get grown as hell yeah. before it's too late. And then, so just watching like, our parents before us. That's how I just try to do. Yeah, just yeah. Talk to everybody that's around me first. Yeah, yeah. Cause shit, my my, my, my dad was coming in mad as hell. He deal with that shit by whooping ass. Yeah. So, and I and I don't even man being, your, being a kid that always got the ass whoopings. I don't even get the motherfuckers out. So I just be like, damn, that's, that's a complete three sixty. Like, yeah, man. He come in like he mad the white man beat my ass. Like damn, I just asked for some Cheetos. Got ass beat for asking for Cheetos. Get some Cheetos. Yeah, like nigga, we ain't got no. Like, damn, all right, cause like. So now I just know when they come home from work, nigga, let me go in the room with your chin. Yeah, right. Like, you hear them keys jangling, your ass running to the room. <laughs> Take a bath and shit real quick, though. Because niggas ain't had no shower heads, niggas is bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> y'all grew up with screens, like y'all had showers? Yeah, man. Shit. Had to watch our motherfucking ass. We watched it, but nigga, we was just in a tub. It's just nah, bad. But mom did her thing, though. She yeah. made sure we was always in a, in a good situation, yeah. living wise. <laughs> we was in a bitch poor, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was... Nah. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't knocking this shit because everybody ain't got it. No. You feel me? So no, it, it was a blessing. Like, I be uh, listening to everybody's stories, and you know, you think your story bad. Yeah. That's why I told you, I told everybody just leave with love because you'll never know what somebody went through, what mm-hmm. they're going through, yeah, for and sure. where their mental health state is at. So yeah. that's why I don't even try to. Look at I, I look at you for what you giving me in a moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So unless we have a conversation, like I didn't even know that shit. You know what I'm saying? You just told me. So yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm sorry here, nigga. Yeah. That bitch all bad. That, that shit, that shit that wicked. <laughs> we, nigga, we have I don't think we had like a shower for real to like goddamn shit. Eighth grade, seventh okay. grade, nigga. So y'all had like one of them old ass tubs. Old ass, big ass, dumb ass tubs when three niggas mm. can fit in that bitch down there. Yeah, I ain't Make know what love talking about. I think my grandma had one of them motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. But she still had a little stick thing hanging up out that motherfucker. Yeah, we ain't shower. Nope, nope, yeah, nope. She, had, yeah, she had that little thing sticking up out her shit. <laughs> Shout out to showers and shit, man. <laughs> nigga, take a shower have nigga, be happy as hell. But mm-hmm. what's some shit that you want to leave behind in 2023, bro? That you didn't want to even bring over to the next year? I left. I left the shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, um, 
Unless just bad energy in fucking twenty twenty three for real. That shit draining. Hell yeah. That shit draining as fuck. Then you then when you see that people that you mean cut off or left behind, like and you see how fucking good you feel after that shit, oh, bro. Man. Niggas suck your energy, bro. Hell yeah. Hell I, yeah. I, I, I I wouldn't fuck that shit no more. So I just start just paying attention and just stop giving niggas chance after chance after chance. Just mm-hmm. like go ahead, go about your business. Yeah, that shit. So for sure, for sure, it should be tough sometimes, man. When you leave people behind, that could be friends, homies, mm-hmm. women, family, like be nigga close as hell to you, man. Like, like, bro, I gotta cut ties. Yeah, dog. Yeah, cause it's I say that shit countless of times. Like my brother told me, like. You know what I'm saying? If you if you the person doing the most in your group, then you need to change that group. Mm-hmm. You need to have some people that's in your in your circle that's gonna inspire you to do better. Yep. If you the person that they looking to all the time, then you got fucked up circle around you. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man, it'd be it'd be tough, but hey, that'd be a move that that we gotta make. Yeah. You know sure. what I'm saying? Is there anything that you still need to work on that you you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody, everybody, everybody always need work. Shit, I'm really sitting there and just like. Because like uh like what my manager here tell you like sometimes I got like a short fuse mm-hmm. so I just be working on trying to like just approach it you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying different when it comes to like any situation like I yeah. just I I just snap real quick and yeah. I don't like doing that shit yeah. because it, it it just it don't even feel right coming out mm-hmm. but it's just something I'm used to to always make sure that I'm always protecting myself yeah you know for what I'm sure. saying so I just need to know how to let that shit go sometimes when last time you had to throw some hands uh, it's been a minute you know it's that real quick you know it's been, it's been a minute. <laughs> Cause I try, I try to avoid it as much no, as possible. For sure. Now you got, you got kids. I got kids. Um, the last person I had on the show, we was talking about that actually, like fighting and stuff, and like kids nowadays don't really scrap. Mm-hmm. Like I know my son never got to a fight before. Mm-hmm. Is that a good thing or a bad thing in your eyes? Like if your kids never been through any no no combat, no, you know what I'm saying? And then it just happened when they get older. Like, so I feel like it's 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 with the times. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You we were in situations when like when me and you was growing up, it was. You know what I'm saying? You had to go out there and protect yourself. Mm-hmm. Think for yourself. Yeah. The, the times were just different. Mm-hmm. These kids, they are more so on um internet. Exactly. They gotta deal with wordplay a lot. You exactly. Know what I'm saying? And yeah. they don't the kids out there that's talking shit don't even know how to fight their damn self. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so <laughs> you gotta deal with shit like that. Like they don't even know how to even approach a fight. Like um you know, like the I can use my son for example. Um because I, I always taught them like, hey, don't let anybody put their hands on you. Don't exactly. let anybody do blah blah blah. Space, yeah. So they they live they they try to live by that, but then yeah. they be like, well, I don't know because I don't want to get in trouble yeah. X Y Z type thing. But I'm like, as long as you're not being a bully or being the aggressor, bro, you good. You good, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. If I can just see that, if I know that you were defending yourself, yeah. Shit. But it is what it is. Shit. Yeah, yeah. You think you think you can survive in this time a, a, a day? Like as far as like being a young adult. Man, I'm a shit talker, you know. We still, we still came up from that era too. We, yeah. we was shit talking, but you, dog, you had to be far, ready. You had to be ready to get your ass whooped. Yeah, that nigga, was, and they got mad enough. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, well, we came up in the era, the era with the what the yo mama jokes. Mm-hmm. You hit a nigga with a stanger, boy. He tried. He ready to beat your ass. <laughs> so it's like don't get the whole class laughing. Yeah, it's over. With. Yeah, He's like nigga, you know where to meet me. Yeah, for sure. That's when niggas <laughs> niggas bumping shoulders and shit. Yeah. This shit wow. They don't do that shit no more. They don't yeah, crying and shit, doing all kinds of crazy shit. But and that's why I be um, I'm so strong on mental health too because the kids taking it to the extreme. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of the day, we ain't I mean, we ain't had the option yeah. to be like, you know what I'm saying, suicide or I want to hurt myself. Exactly. Type shit. Yeah. They take it there. Yeah. That's why I gotta be careful, man. Yeah. That's yeah. why I be telling them, use your words wisely, man. Mm-hmm. That shit can you don't know what the fuck somebody going through. For sure. While we stay on some on some young shit, man, what's some young nigga shit? Versus some shit you've been through, something that you didn't believe as a young nigga that you like, something you believed in as a young and that you look back at on now, like what the fuck was I thinking? I can't wait to be grown. <laughs> I thought about that shit this morning. That shit, I can't wait to be this shit. Fucking wicked as hell, dog. Dog, no, shit, terrible, dog. Yeah, that shit. Like when you like you see your parents going out having fun, blah blah blah. We didn't see the um. Like the behind the scenes, so yeah, we just yeah. seeing all these. We ain't seeing they paying bills. Yep, they probably living check to check, and a little bit that they get, they going to go fucking have fun, so they yeah. can have a little bit of experience in life. Yep. That's the shit we didn't fucking see, and you know what I'm saying. We see why they were stressed the fuck out. Yeah, so man. I, I see why I, I, I had to call my mama one day. Like, hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No. They put you through that bullshit and, you know what I'm saying, just making it seem like everything was your fault. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I know what you had to go through now. Yeah. I'm an adult doing it myself. So. And then as a parent, you hide that shit. You don't want your kids to see it. Yeah. You're in pain. You never want to see, like, never want to show them that shit. That's why I talk, like, my mama, like, one of the strongest people I know. Mm-hmm. She held that shit down with fucking four boys until, you know, no, three boys and a girl mm-hmm. until she had my little brother. So, yeah. Yeah, she yeah, did her man. thing. Yeah, man, for sure. Especially Friday, like you wake up and you pay them bills, like dog. Mm-hmm. What the fuck, bro? Like, and now I seem like something coming every motherfucking three days. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't wait till Friday no more. Yeah. This shit ain't even month to month. And you're like, damn. 
I forgot all some shit on Wednesday. You probably get paid on motherfucking Friday. <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. What, what's your day to day life away from music? Away from, like you said, family. Like, what brings you joy, bro? Like you said, your, your parents doing a little shit to make sure they, they straight because they stressed out. Like, what brings you joy besides music? Food. Yeah. You know, I'm a foodie. Can you sure. cook that? Yeah, I cook a little bit. Okay, okay, you know, okay. I'll be chefing it up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, kids love my chicken Alfredo. Shout out to my kids. <laughs> you know. I make that shit three times a week if I wanted to. Be. Yeah. So I, don't like, every day I, I don't like eating the same shit, so we yeah. try to switch it up. Yeah, yeah. Now, when finding your wife was was her being able to cook, was that like a priority? Like that's something that had to be like. I used to think it was. Yeah. But that was just childish me because like I used to uh, like I said every time I had a chick, she better have me some food ready. For sure. You know what I'm saying? All this X Y Z shit. So that was just me going into it being a young nigga. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell so. yeah. Nigga, shit. We we be tag teaming that shit a little bit because she be in school, so I'll be doing my little same. Mm-hmm. Three meals I can cook and shit, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jambalaya, <laughs> spaghetti, and that bitch. Oh, so you got you up on a jambalaya. I gotta get your recipe then, cause I, I ain't ever. I right, ain't yeah, shit with the box. Oh, shit! <laughs> I ain't gonna even cap to you, the dog. Ice aroni box, bro. Yeah, yeah. That, that good box. You just add some shit to it. You know what I'm saying? A little little seasoning here, little sausages here, pause. You know what I'm saying? Some oh, shrimp. Man. You good to go, dog. That's a sausage pause, bro. I just caught that. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, go. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. What's so far as far as it, it could be fatherhood, it could be a husband, it could be whatever artist. What's the worst advice you received and the best advice you received? The worst advice that I received in life. Mm-hmm. Uh that uh us as men, we just gotta take shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deal um, with it. OG told me like, well shit, that's what happens when you're a man. You gotta take it. And keep it moving. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Express myself, let you know how I feel. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna keep it moving. Yeah, for so sure. Now yeah. you know, now you know how I feel. Exactly. And don't do that shit no more, type shit. Like yeah, that's yeah. what it is. I ain't mm-hmm. about to suck shit up because that's gonna create that motherfucking tension, bro. Mm-hmm. Hell no. Nah. I want you to be sure how I feel. Yep. So moving forward, you know how to move. Yep. yep. So you said what, what was the other question? Worst advice and best advice. The best advice was Damn, niggas ain't really getting nigga advice. I'm trying to think. <laughs> no, I'm just here like, bro, ain't nobody really give a nigga no advice for real. Yeah. Um, well, I guess shit. I guess when it's pertaining to the women, just treat them uh, with respect. Yeah, yeah, That's for sure. That's what I done got. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> respect the ladies as well, just, boy. Just love them, shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, we love you, ladies. <laughs> That's crazy. Dog, y'all be sitting here thinking. Nigga, they gave me no motherfucking straight up. <laughs> Nothing to go off of. God damn. <laughs> All fucked up shit, dog. Now, uh, speaking of, like, we still staying on growing up and shit, like, what was your first adult decision that you, like, damn, I'm really out here? Like, I'm really making moves out here. Like, I ain't at a bunch of miles no more. Uh, when I when I stuck my thing in and nine months later, a baby came out. Oh, shit. <laughs> How was you at your first year? Uh, I was, uh, shit, 1920. Oh, shit, we were the same age. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's when I realized like shit get shit got real. Mm-hmm. What changed for you? What was the one thing that changed? Like as far as your mindset and shit. I just had to stop doing dumb shit. Yeah. yeah like that shit ain't like the shit that we be doing. Mm-hmm. Just stupid. Yeah, hell yeah. We in the motherfucking clubs and shit at 16. What the fuck we doing up in there? Duh, for sure. So, you know what I'm saying? You gotta what, slow the fuck down. What clubs would you hit? Man, I ain't about to put them niggas business out no, there. No, what like clubs would you hit? Nah, I ain't just <laughs> what, what keys you going to? Uh like right now? No, back then, like, what was the club you was hitting up, dog? Oh, man. They probably still in business. I ain't about to put that shit out there like this. I was, I was saying, I was, I was a St. Andrews nigga. Okay. I lived in the Drews. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what's up. Hey, the Drews and Onyx, dog. Those are my two spots, bro. Oh, yeah. You, Onyx, do you know the strip clubs, how they be? Oh, see, I wasn't I was in a strip club. I wasn't a strip club nigga, dog. Like, yeah. real talk, all my life, I've probably been to a strip club like four times. Oh, damn. Like, you think I always thought about, like, I'm seeing naked hoes that I can't fuck. Damn, that's a bummer. So it's like, what's the... I could have fucked them hoes. <laughs> I'm just looking, though. Like, it's but like... Nah, uh, it was it was just... So when you was younger, I feel like that's when a strip club would be the best. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you, you just young in that bitch with your... your oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. going, going up in there, but... Yeah. When I went as an adult, they went here no shit. Yeah, I yeah. been there, didn't it, seen it all. Yeah. And like I said, I was out here to tell you out. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, we had to, I remember we had to my uh, my little brother to uh, strip class and we found out that the nigga was really fucking. Cause yeah. he was underage and the way he was grabbing ass, like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, that nigga fucking dog. Like that was for real. You know what the fuck he doing? He wasn't it was no shyness about him, dog. Too smooth with it, boy. Yeah, that nigga was ha hands all over the place. Like, oh yeah, that nigga you know, mouth fucking dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shout out to my brother, mm -hmm. man. <laughs> now um I asked everybody this question, man. I don't know if you two thugs ask answer this. When the last time you cried, dog, that didn't have nothing to do with death. I don't say nigga, I was watching a movie. What was the movie, dog? Tell, tell me that tear director. Uh, the six, the six man. The si you said six man. Mm -hmm. With uh, Marlon and them. Mm -hmm. Nigga, dog. Oh, that's the thing. That bitch fucking had me. I'm like, damn. Especially when you start thinking about like, cause you start relating shit to with your with your more adult mind. You start relating mm -hmm. that shit to like, oh, this shit could possibly be happening. Yeah, you could possibly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, be out here by yourself and like your best friend just be gone, not with death or anything. Just, yeah. like, just thinking about this niggas just leaving you, you being by Duh. yourself, Duh. and it kind of struck a nerve. Yeah, my brother. Every time he watched that movie, that nigga cry. Yeah, that's a that's a <laughs> he love you. <laughs> no, nigga, they heart attack like what, really? man, duh. Yeah, that was a, that's a class movie niggas sleep on. Yep. I can't. And then Martha did this thing. That's what really showed me that nigga can act, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. He did yeah. this thing in that motherfucker. He switched it from the comedy and went like serious and emotional. Like when he captured that emotion, that's what did it for me. Now, this is what I'm going to find out if you're a real nigga, dog. Oh, you a fan of uh, the Wayne Brothers? The show? Yeah. Nah. Dog. So look. <laughs> Look, bro. Yeah, they had they had moments, but it wasn't like it's not up there in the, like the top three. You know what I'm saying? It's top three, but it for sure. It for sure top seven. I mean, how many black sitcoms we got? We got a lot of different. Like, we got a lot, bro. You all right? You got, of course, you got the greats. You got the Fresh Prince. You got Martin. You got motherfucking uh, Sanford Son. You got Cosby Show. Okay, but after that, I, Good Times was. I hate Good Times. She held them back, dog. Florida Evans Lord. held them back, dog. Every time they had a chance to break out the motherfucking projects, she held them back because she said the money, it was devil money. Yeah, she was trying to make that TV money. Oh, no. She okay. trying to say her ass yeah. Like, dog, nah, we ain't get about this shit. You're about to end my fucking sitcom. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, that, I, I fuck with Wayne Brothers, dog. We had this argument all the time, me and the producer. Mm -hmm. He said that that shit was trash. The only thing that kept the Wayne Brothers alive was uh, Pops. It was no. Pops, that shit be trash. That's what he said. That, those are not my words. Pops and Marlon, for sure. Mm hmm. Damn, I thought you were gonna be a real dude though. Pop, pops and pops and Merlin. Yeah. Damn me, Sean. I ain't gonna hold you up. <laughs> yeah, nigga. What the fuck did he do on that? <laughs> no, for sure, for sure, man. Now, uh, if you had to tell someone about yourself, bro, but you're gonna use an album or a song, you press play and this is this is Javante, dog. What song is that gonna be? Or album? Damn. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. This could be this 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 ain't gotta be your whole life. This could be a a portion a part of your life. It could be a younger years, your adult years. You know what I'm saying? Just an album or a song that fucking stands that, out. that tank. Um, next breath. Mm -hmm. That shit. It's like it was like the turning point in my life. Like, mm. um, at first, you know, I feel like I was just numb to a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. Like as far as like when it came to my emotions when it came to like with the females and all that shit mm -hmm. to listen to that song could always hit different because everybody damn i don't even nah, i never felt like this yeah. nobody yeah. and then you know when you start looking at shit in a different light and then you meet somebody who make you start mm -hmm. experiencing different feelings and shit yeah. that, that song always gonna hit different for me for sure hell yeah hell yeah <laughs> good song good song you got anything about as far as like like growing up that uh, a song or an album that's staying out that you, every time you hear that album or song you just think about your childhood uh 50 cents, uh, <laughs> give us that drum. The whole fucking album. <laughs> yep. I was living by that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. That's what made me want to be a rapper. I was like, the guy, I was going to be in a group, a rap group. Yeah. Like, yeah. fuck it. I'm about to get my niggas. We about to be in a rap group. Mm -hmm. Walk around that bitch rapping and shit. And yeah. we fucking talk about some shit we know about. Yeah. Now you shit start getting real. You mentioned your, uh, <laughs> you mentioned your manager was a rapper. How was he as a rapper? Oh, he, 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 that nigga still cold. For real? Yeah. Oh, shit. Magic got to come back and rap, dog. Yeah, that nigga cold, bro. Hell no, dog. What was his rap name? Arachi. Arachi. It's <laughs> hard to find a perfect name, bro. Like, the, nah, what, what was your first motherfucking name? Yeah, that, back when you was back with the motherfucking, uh, like, Nate. What's the name? Young and a little dog. We all around the same age, bro, because everybody's name was young. Yeah, I spell my shit Y U N G. That's how I spell my shit. Yeah, yeah, it's always young with the U, nigga. Yep. No O and shit. Y U N G. Dog. And little dog. Like, that's it, dog. 
<laughs> you could take no other nut here, nigga. <laughs> My name Lil Nate. <laughs> you had a little scrappy, little flip, mm -hmm. little zane, nigga, little twist, nigga. But I think the last young that made like, all right, it's over. Probably was Jeezy, or yeah, he was like the last official young. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, like after that, like you can't think of no sweet young after like Young Jock. Well, he came like a couple yeah. months after Jeezy. He was more so like the party era we was going, we was going through. Yeah, yeah, dog. Or you were short, little young or short, dog. <laughs> 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 that shit crazy, dog. Shout out to all the littles and youngs, uh, man. Yeah, shout out y'all out. Yeah, now, uh, you R&B artist, bro. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, our parents got classic R&B uh, goats and shit, dog, that they can name off. And they, and they, and they generation, they era. Okay. I feel like, for us, we go back to the era that they enjoyed, as mm -hmm. far as, like, goats and shit. Mm -hmm. Who is our goat now that R. Kelly is fucked, then fucked up and shit, dog? You like, said who's outside the, of R. Kelly? Yeah, because I mean, I still listen to R. Kelly. I think we all do. Nobody wants to, nobody wants to say that shit out loud. Right, like we still bump it there. Then when niggas get close, you roll the window up and shit and turn it down. <laughs> but who who is that person that you can put your kids hip to and say this is our goat of our era? I mean, he's still going. You can might as well just throw Breezy in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then he he the only one that's still relevant from that time. Yeah, pretty much. So I can see I can see Usher. Oh yeah, yeah, That's your too. Yeah, you right. Yeah, because uh, I got killed on social media. I said that. Right. Like, that shit is over there. I said that Confessions is probably, if not the best top three R and B album ever. It's a, it's a definitely a fucking listen through. Yeah, for you sure. Actually, sit there and listen to it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We yeah. get that shit the other day. Yeah, like I want and and that, that Bobby Brown um project. I'm about yeah. to say you are. I'm about to say nigga Bobby Brown. Yeah. My, my, my mind about to get going. Yeah, my, my nigga. Yeah, the, my project of that album. That that was a class. It was like what eleven songs on that motherfucker. wasn't too long. wasn't too mm -hmm. short. Buzz and every single every single last one of them bitches was it. Yeah, yeah. So it was like every single sure. one of them bitches on the motherfucking radio. But just think about it though. When we think about R and B, we think about the people that our parents were listening to. We ain't think about the people that we listen yeah. to in our era. Like we okay. ain't got too many people. I'm about to say who you who who can you remember? I mean, you got like you said. You said uh, uh, you got Case, you got Music Soul Child, okay. you got Usher. But I'm like like Case and Music Soul Child, like two like, or three. <laughs> two, two or three hits. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying you got Usher with the longevity. Yeah, I'm uh, can't say R. Kelly name no more. Yeah, but you know he got the longevity. Yeah, like we, we you do. We had those moment singers, like for the moment, like Avant yeah. was for the moment. Yeah, for sure. And he had a run. Oh, uh, uh Trey Songz had a run. Yeah. Oh, what's that? We can't sleep on uh Tyrese. Tyrese had a run. Yeah, and Genuine, you know Genuine, Tyrese. <laughs> The fuck with Genuine, dog. I don't know about Genuine. But a long... I remember, he, he, he up there, but he ain't had no run. So like listen, that. I had finally got with this girl named Erica, dog. I was trying to give Erica for the longest, bro. And when she finally got with me, dog, I <laughs> when she finally got with me, bro, I I um I called her. And she uh her voicemail came, so I put that Genuine. My whole life has changed. This since you this ain't the light, the most life end of this shit. Now I didn't hear all day. <laughs> he played it. He put it up on the voicemail like this. You know, I'm back there. <laughs> Since you figured it, shit, you, you was that special one. Oh really? man, that's that's wild. And she broke on me like two weeks later. I would have too. Good. But hell, I would have told. I would have told her as I dumped that nigga, man. I thought I was doing something, bro. Nah, I feel it though. But yeah. songs like that do put you like in a in a different mindset to make you feel like. You like, especially if you feeling like connected to the lyrics for like sure, that, especially sure. like how you said you were chasing, changed, you were chasing no girl. Fuck. Like, shit, I finally got you, girl. <laughs> this is it. What was that one fucking video that went viral when the nigga was singing to the girl and then hit that back? Oh, flip? yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was you, nigga. <laughs> Turn she gets red. Uh, what was the name, dog? Go, uh, go, what the fuck was his name? It wasn't, it, it might have been. <laughs> it might have been Javante. Oh, nah, hell nah. I'm a father, bitch, young dog. We gonna cut that shit right there. Oh, he was dancing ass yeah, off. He was, was cooking and shit, dog. That shit was fucking hilarious, dog. It was right. It's like it was in projects, dog. Right by a little brick uh -huh. wall, shit, dog. God damn, that shit funny, dog. Niggas, was, niggas was voice. I know I was the only nigga sending songs through voicemails. So what I used to do was yeah, niggas quiet. Like, yeah, you only want nah. <laughs> you nah? I don't know. I think you might have sent some songs to some bitches. <laughs> 
but, but me, I was I was a little bit more strategic with my shit. Yeah. Because I used to listen to all the lyrics. Yeah. But then I just throw it in my conversation. For sure. For sure. You know what I'm so I, I just slide some shit up in the conversation. Like, you know, mm-hmm. my whole life has changed, baby. Yeah, for sure. Like shit, you don't go out there singing a the whole motherfucking song. Yeah, you I'm gotta not, make, I'm, You got to make the shit your own. <laughs> See, you got the cheat code. Have you ever used singing as a cheat code to get chicks? Mm-mm. You never tell you never be like I'm gonna sing some draws up. None of them knew I could sing. Oh shit, damn for real. Mm-hmm. Man, my cousin made me mad with that shit. Niggas is singing. Nope, I wasn't. I wasn't. I guess because how I came up, that singing shit wasn't. Yeah, you know, I was rapping. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I was more so like I'm on the street tip shit. Yeah, so. yeah, yes. Yeah. Me singing with my thing. Did you know I, you could sing back then though? Huh? You, did you know you could sing? Nah, I didn't. It wasn't until like ninth grade. Ninth grade. Um, I had to. I was forced to uh, do, do choir. Mm-hmm. Cause I couldn't do gym cause my uh my arm was broke. Okay. And um so they just put me in a random like little elective mm-hmm. and it was choir. And then of course there was a lot of bitches in there, so I'm just like, well, I'm in this motherfucker. <laughs> so then, you know, then that's when the the teacher he found out I had a little voice in there. Mm-hmm. He was trying to bring it out. But I just was running away from it for, yeah. for a while. For sure, for sure. Now I asked this one R B dude on the on, on the show though. He I, I disrespected him and shit though. You tell me if I'm disrespecting you. <laughs> do you feel like like as a singer, like you got like Show that you extra tough, Mm-mm. cause niggas might come across you like, oh, you singing, nigga, I weaken, nigga, you soft for this and the third. No, nah, it's just all about what you portray, mm-hmm. like your character as a man. Yeah, for sure, for just sure. Cause you singing, I'll make you soft. Yeah, I ain't call you soft. Don't hit me. No, nah, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> if, if a nigga approach you like you soft, then no, you must be sure. something about your aura or, or exactly. how you carrying yourself. No, for sure. Or a nigga like, like where they can actually mm-hmm. try your ass type shit. So. Mm-hmm. Just, just be a stand up nigga, man. Don't be worried about that shit. Yeah, whoever, for sure. whoever that everybody guy was. Yeah, yeah, that nigga, that nigga was sensitive you got, you about got that to shit. Relax, bro. Yeah, that nigga didn't want to talk about nothing on the show. Shit, yeah. man. Well, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> now, man, we we talked about it a little bit. We touched on it a little bit, bro. But just talk about growing up, man. Like, we from the east to west. I'm gonna predict you probably from the west. Yeah. <laughs> what what gave it away? I don't know, man. Just you know, it just you you just kind of like. You can kind of tell they have a conversation with a nigga. You can kind of tell they from the East or West. It ain't a bad thing. You just, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, West Side. Yeah, yeah. Talk about where you where you from man, and what, what hood and who's in the household, man. Cause damn, we'll do the origin story start. Cause we we moved around a couple times. But, yeah. Um, most of yo you growing up, your memories start like in middle school. Mm-hmm. So like late elementary, middle school. So I say over there on Dre Road. Okay. That's where we started. Then we bounced around after that to like a uh, seven mile, uh, six mile, a little shit like that. So, sure. but Jury Road for sure, yeah. where I met most of my peoples. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's in the crib? Oh, shit. Mom, <laughs> mom's the motherfucking uh, granddad, mm. um, uncles. For sure. Those brothers ones and kinda sisters. Like, those your uncles and granddads, ones that kind of like raised you up and shit. Yeah, as far as like being a man and shit. We all about the same motherfuckers. <laughs> Shit, I, I was had two motherfucking young. Shit, so niggas about my age. I'm older than half the niggas. Shit got weird. Nigga, I'm just that. <laughs> but nah, um, we all just uh, granddad was working, mom was working. We all just had to yeah. just protect each other, watch out for each other, type shit. But sure. when nobody like over us, because we all around the same. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. This nigga, this nigga seven years old. Me, and my uncle. Shit, I never called nigga uncle Q. Yeah, I think it's Q. Like, oh my life, I, I got one in that damn big Put seven. It's like two, <laughs> two, three years. Damn, yeah. Really, so y'all, y'all, shit. boy, y'all homeboys down there. Yeah, it's shit like that. Yeah. So we always raised to be close, and it's just crazy. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Well, I guess we all working towards getting it all back, cause you know once niggas got started getting grown and finding their own path, mm-hmm. shit kind of went like that. Yeah, for you know sure. What I'm so yeah. hell yeah, miss them niggas though. Yeah, for sure. Shout out to uncles and shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> now you mentioned uh, moms and granddads, man. What was was pops in the picture? Like you know your pops? Yeah, I know. Yeah, that don't sound too good. Nah, he's cool, he's cool, dude. Yeah, for sure, like, you, yeah. y'all ain't got no, like, no tight relationship or nothing like that, huh? It's like, I don't think you could call it, like, father-son type shit, but mm-hmm. I fuck with him. For sure, for I, sure. I respect him as a as a man, what he done, because he a good dude. Mm-hmm. You know, just me as me. Had to do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So do you, do you understand it a little bit, like, why he wasn't around? Or you like, fuck that? I mean, I wouldn't say he wouldn't, like... <laughs> I guess the raising aspect is what it what it is. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I'm not big on titles anyway. Yeah. So, you know, if I see you as that, then of course mm-hmm. you're gonna be that, but mm-hmm. so don't. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now the last thing I'm gonna ask you, because you know what I'm saying, I don't want you to hit me then. 
That's what I'm talking to <laughs> As a father, did that make you a better father? Because like my, my pops passed away when I was 13. Mm, so I like, yeah, it's all good. So it's like, with me, it's like, all right, bet when I, when I have my own kids, I'm going to make sure like, you know what I'm saying? Shit that I wish I had, I'm going to be there for my kids. So that made you make you a better father in the long run? I didn't want to be a damn daddy. Yeah. But thinking back on my on that type of shit, yeah, I just I wanted to be, have more of a presence for sure. Mm-hmm. Cause I can't, can't I can't say he was a uh, he wasn't a bad dad. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's just certain shit that I looked for. For sure, for sure. Man, that I ain't, I ain't received. So yeah. But yeah. you see, he had, you know what I'm saying? You know, you see the other siblings mm-hmm. and how you know what I'm saying they got their connection with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. You be like, damn, I want that shit. No, for sure, hell yeah. And you be like, fuck that shit, dude. You know <laughs> I, I ain't have it. It's <laughs> no point. <laughs> hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah, dog. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Because like a lot of times, like you know, for most people, be like, y'all, I'm make sure I'm I'm be you know this way because of what I was missing back then and mm-hmm. shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't, I don't try to, I don't try to live like that though. Mm-hmm. I try to just keep shit moving forward. For sure. Oh so, yeah, I feel I, that. Like I said, I don't fault nobody for nothing because people had to make decisions that work for their situation. Exactly. Right so exactly, ain't nobody wrong in my eyes. Yeah. So we had our conversations. Mm-hmm. You know. So that's why I don't talk ill on nobody. For sure. Shout out to moms and mom stepped up and did her thing and shit. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Now high school days, bro. Like, was you into sports? Was you a hooper? Or football? Like, what? Well, talk about high school. What high school you went to? And like, what type of nigga was you in high school? Uh, I was, I was just a chill nigga. Mm-hmm. Uh, I ain't play no sports. I could play them, but I ain't play them. Yeah, nigga, I was always, about, I was always about the bitches, man. Everything I did. <laughs> now I'm sitting here thinking, nigga, I be in my thoughts. Yeah, yeah nigga, you ain't play sports, you ain't do nothing. I'm talking to bitches all day. That's all I did. <laughs> Like, I ain't do shit. Niggas say, niggas say hoes one on one, dog. Yeah. But no, I just was, I was just, uh, I guess you call me like the, uh, like a, just a ladies' man, just be chilling. Yeah. Kept to myself. Not really. Oh, but yeah. I was chill, walking through uh, Oak Park High. Yeah. Uh, I was chilling. Are you back there with the, you know, uh, dope boys went there, right? Yep, briefly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slid sure. through there. Hey, Oak Park was a hood ass school. But it was only because they shut down when we all was going to school. They shut down the DPS school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody, they had an open enrollment, and everybody branched out that way. I'm about to say, niggas, <laughs> niggas here at Oak Park, that was a good ass school. I remember going there for my my brother hooping against them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, damn, it's a hood school. Like, these niggas, mm-hmm. hood's so, fucking here. Nigga, ain't no a suburban they, shit they, here. They had, they had all different hoods in that motherfucker, though. Mm-hmm. That ninth grade was crazy. Yeah. yeah. It was so much shit going on. Yeah. That they told niggas they couldn't even come to that bitch until he was in 10th grade. Duh. They just... Took ninth grade out that bitch completely. <laughs> Damn. Said, Damn. Yeah. Nigga, nigga, yeah. I took a whole fucking year. <laughs> yeah. So our shit was 10 through, 10 through 12. For sure. When for I sure. left. I don't know if it went back, but yeah. shout out Oak Park. Damn, them niggas took the whole ninth grade. Y'all, y'all fucked that shit up, dude. Yeah, them niggas was mad, too. <laughs> they was like, nigga, we can't even come to this motherfucker. Duh. Now, uh, now, music, I know you've been music for a while, man, but what at what point did music become serious, like, like I'm gonna be serious with this. It's something I want as a career and in, in, in lifestyle. Hmm. Cause niggas, yo, know, I do rap or I do R and B. But I guess when I, uh, I guess when I started getting a little bit of notoriety, I guess when people start like gravitating and saying they fuck with my shit, it made me want to do it mm-hmm. even more. You know, you know, sometimes just be talented niggas who just be sitting on talent. Exactly. You know, but just utilize, start utilizing my shit, but then use, utilizing it the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. What was that first song you recorded? Huh. How good or bad was that? God damn. <laughs> what, first, about... The first rap song and the first R&B song. Damn, I don't even know the first rap song. That shit was way back. Mm-hmm. That's way back in... uh. My nigga Gino basement. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing like the basement. Damn, nah. <laughs> I can't remember the first rap song. All right, what, for, what about that first R&B song you recorded? Like, because of course it made it had to be good for you to stick with it. Damn, I think it was like a um, I had a producer remake a uh a R. Kelly joint for me. Mm-hmm. Shout out to R. Kelly again. <laughs> but I forgot the name of that motherfucker, huh? That's my first. Oh, the first one I put out. Oh shit. Yeah, we could say Moan. Moan? Moan was the first one I put out. Yep. Yeah, freaky nigga shit. <laughs> that that was the first word I officially put out. Yeah. And I was performing that motherfucker around too. So that that probably was the one that did it. Yeah, and yeah, you kept you kept you going and shit with it. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, dog. Was that time that you wanted to give up on the music shit, dog? You was done with it? Yeah. And what? Every other week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And you're like, damn, man, that shit's stressing me out. Yeah. But then, you know, you look at your kids, they bumping your shit. You look at your friends, they like, bro, you better keep going. You got something. That's you what working keep you, with something. That's what keep you going with the music shit? Of course. Was it time that you, like, real, like, super serious about quitting and shit? Like, and you gave up for a couple months? I did. Yeah. I, I stopped for, like, about a year. Mm-hmm. And came back. Mm-hmm. Reinvented myself. And then I, uh, because I started, I was tired of paying for studio time but not getting the sign that I want. Mm-hmm. Um... People wouldn't get my shit right. People was lagging on sending me my shit back. Mm-hmm. So I took a year off. Yeah. And then I invested in myself. That year I was investing okay. into me getting my own shit. Mm-hmm. And then that's when I dropped uh, the Gemini project came out after that. For sure. Hell yeah. Gemini. When your birthday, though? I'm just... June 17th. Okay. Yeah. You, you were around the same shit, though. Mm-hmm. June 1st. I'm June 21st. That's my mama's birthday. June 21st? June 1st. Oh, shit. I'm about to say, yeah. It's June 21st. I'm about to say, yeah, she mm-hmm. a real one. She's still a real one, though. She's still yeah. a <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, as an RB at, do you feel that artists make the better music doing heartbreak versus being in love? Depends on you. Mm-hmm. What you um, what pulls all that 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 emotion up out of you? Yeah. Sometimes people really lean on the heartbreak because it's it's more felt. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and they feel like that's like a general topic that people can relate to more nowadays. Mm-hmm. But shit, everybody missing love for real. Yeah. yeah. That's why they try to run to the heartbreak shit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, man, for sure. Hell yeah. When you listen to R&B, what, what are you listening to? Like, are you, or do you want to hear that heartbreak? I'm fucked up right now. I'm down and out. Or you want to hear that I'm happy and shit? Like, Because uh, everybody always talking about Mary J. Blige, for example. They love her when she going through heartbreak. They feel like she making her best music. <laughs> it's fucked up for her. They won't let her fucking be, be, be in no different mood. Like... I, I'd be depressed as fuck if I was hurt. Like, I'd be sad all the motherfucking time. For sure. Yes, her and Keisha Cole is like the best heartbreak type of motherfucking yeah. R&B singers. But, but that's just them trying to keep people in a box, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, let them people just be artists. Yeah. You know? Just putting them harsh-ass titles on people is really going to keep them in a box. And like you said, I don't know what people going through mentally, so. Mm-hmm. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure Major July's going to talk about fucking sometimes. <laughs> you know, she probably want to talk about being happy, how it was when she... Did she ever get married? See, I think, yeah, I think so. She was married. Yeah, yeah, we, I'm so, I'm so stuck in her motherfucking heartbreak. Nigga. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You know, fuck, she making fucking heartbreak songs and she in fucking a whole ass marriage. <laughs> like, I ain't happy at all about my motherfucking marriage. Man, sure. no. so, yeah. Now, uh, with you, man, your last project you dropped uh, was titled uh, Late for the Dance. Uh, uh-huh. Six tracks. You know what I'm saying? Talk about that project and do you feel like you got the love it deserved? Um, that's that's a project I was trying something different on. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of people do fuck with it. Mm-hmm. And I probably should have pushed it more heavy. I was just gonna ask, you know do you feel you did enough promotion wise? I, I know for a fact I didn't. Mm-hmm. But um, that was me getting in my own head about shit. Yeah, because I'm like, well, people ain't gonna accept this shit. But then it'd be people DMing me talking about something. Man, that shit fire. You should have pushed that shit. Well, you because you thought it was something you was doing new that niggas was, was gonna fuck with mm-hmm. it like that. But they, that's what I'm saying. They picked a few songs off that motherfucker. Yeah. Half the songs on there, so. Yeah. Yeah. What you what you gonna do differently with the next project that you didn't do in this one as far as like pushing wise? Like is it gonna be social media, is it gonna be interviews, is it gonna be hand in hand in the streets and shit? Yep, all that. I'm mm-hmm. doing all that. I'm going I'm taking a different approach. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stop being lazy, get off my ass. Yeah. Like I said, they be talented niggas who just be sitting there. Yeah, chilling. You know what I'm saying? They think their time's gonna get on fire, but niggas gotta put the work in. Mm-hmm. So I gotta pick up that work aspect of it. Hell yeah. When when the next project, when can we hear that? Oh uh, shit! What, we, what was the dates we said? As far as a uh, uh, complete project, yeah, we gonna we gonna we gonna, we gonna drop. Right, yeah. That's little Nate, y'all, for the, in the background. Mm-hmm. That's my manager, Rachi. <laughs> yeah, my dog, my dog, man. Yeah, my dog. <laughs> now, uh, you said ten later on the year. That's that. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, um, what's the one song if you had to gain gain a fan off of from the project that you would be like, all right, listen to this. For me, I got kind of like two. Okay. For I I I, I love this song, the uh, the blues. Oh. And it okay. uh, groove me. Yep. So like, that, what, that's that's some of the ones people was gravitating towards when I put that project out for short. Mm-hmm. Groove me. Yeah. And that's that's just a bop. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So that'd be a song that you would go ahead and be like, hey, listen to this, this and they gonna. I'll take. I'll be sending niggas back to the first project because that's the one I'm most proud of because I did it all by myself. Okay, it's on production wise, everything. Mm-hmm. No, not the production. Yeah. I had to buy them the motherfucking beats and shit. But... <laughs> Um, as far as me recording myself, mm. um, the lyrics and everything, that's I was most proud of that because it came out good, and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. At all, huh? So, yeah. 
Hell yeah, man. That's that's dope. That's dope. I've seen everybody there first. And then, of course, the later shit, they, they pick up on. Yeah, I, was, I, I, I skipped through all your shit, you know, because mm-hmm. I know you had to. The one shit was like, you was like, you know, your rap singing bag at the same time. Which one? What was that shit uh, right before um, right before this one? Uh, it was like the white cover. Oh, the uh, streets only understand. Yeah, lately. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you had one shit about your brothers and stuff, the track number one and stuff like that. Yeah, I was just getting everything out that I that I had bottled in. Yeah, streets only understand. Then you got the Gemini. Uh, what's the name? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, dog. No, I, I fuck with it. Like I feel like R and B. I love R and B more than rap because it's just like sometimes with rappers you get the same shit, mm-hmm. same results and shit yeah. like that. So I be in my R and B bed. I be at work. Niggas probably think I'm listening hip hop. Is niggas R and B? R and B all day. Hell yeah. Now I, I love rap out. I called myself a rapper back in the day, but I fuck with that, man. I fuck with R&B. I wish I could sing. Man, this is some hard work, bro. Hell yeah. Like, this nigga got me running my fucking five miles and shit and then singing so I can keep my voice strong and shit. Yeah, for that sure. Shit's fucking painful. <laughs> sure. So, yeah, what's the last uh, dope R&B act that you listen to besides yours, bro? Next all I listen to. Is this you? Hell yeah. You don't fuck with nobody else? It's like, nah, I was just banging some uh that that new Chris Brown shit. Oh yeah, that, that, that uh the deluxe you just put out. Yeah, that shit hard. Yeah, I heard that shit was hard. Yeah, that shit was hard though. Shout out to C Breezy, man. That's what I'm saying. I'll be trying to tap into new shit, man. I'll be but everybody be disappointing me, man. Yeah. Yeah. Music wise, I get disappointed a lot too, though. Like, I'm disappointed in this whole rap beef, though. I'm I'm mad that Kendrick haven't responded yet. To uh yeah, to Drake. Beef going on? Yeah, you know the whole Drake Kendrick oh, yeah, 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 shit, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just playing all that shit, dog. Like, niggas ain't coming with nothing, dog. It's just, eh, fuck them niggas, yeah, What the fuck they beefing about? Uh, nothing, really. No. You know, Kendrick and Drake been going at it, you know what I'm saying, on some old, throwing shots at each other for a minute. But then Kendrick kind of, like, came out, really, like, said some shit on Future, uh, Future album. Okay. So now it's, like, back and forth, but now we wait for Kendrick and shit. So, but, well, Future involved, then. Because Future don't fuck with Drake no more. Damn. Basically, it's everybody against Drake, dog. Okay. Rick Ross, Future, Kendrick, Metro, all these niggas, dog. <laughs> it can't be great, huh? Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Now I got this thing called um talk about the bars, man. I take a piece of mm-hmm. of, of a, a line from a song and we talk about it. All right. Now um uh, too late, you said my future and my past keep killing me softly. What would you say meaning by that? I say that. That's it hard. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, I'm too late. Too late. Yeah, too I'm late. too late. He said, "My future and my past keep mm-hmm. killing me softly." Oh, just basically like um, like you know, you torn between like wanting to be your old self and then mm-hmm. wanting to move on and shit. For sure, like, you just stuck in the middle. Yeah, so yeah it's like yeah. it's like a, a slow jab because you always remember like the good times you had when you was free. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Out here doing your thing, but then you really want to focus on being a man. Mm-hmm. And then showing your kids different. Yeah, they say I said that shit girl. She was hard. <laughs> now on the blues, you said nothing the same since you've been gone. I must admit I loved you wrong. You know, talk, how, that, you know talk, how that go. Talk about that, dog. Like, do you <laughs> <laughs> You know, and then you got that one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that slipped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You be like, well shit. And then she don't want your ass back mm-hmm. type shit. So yeah. you be like, now you gotta adjust in life. Yeah. You yeah. can't get her back down. You didn't <laughs> cause too much pain, too much hurt. Where now you ain't got no choice but to keep on fucking moving forward and figure that shit out. Hell yeah. So, yeah. Hell yeah. Then you see somebody else loving the right shit. Yeah. Like, and like, you be mad as hell looking like, nah, I should go there and fuck him up. Shit, yeah. My, my producer been through some shit, man. He, that was exactly what he think about. That's why he shake his head. Dog. He loved her wrong. <laughs> wrong as hell. <laughs> she was his Beyonce, dog. Oh, man. Fucked up. Not to even mess with a whole bunch of. <laughs> yeah, that's how I be. Sometimes you get stuck. Like yeah. some niggas can't bounce back after mm-hmm. that, and some niggas can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. There be times in niggas' lives, man. That nigga hurt him, man. With the cry, though. Man, don't cry, bro. Play it, play it. Shit, dog. Now, uh, on the song uh, "Wrong," you said you don't love me like you used to. Wrong. Well, yeah, that, yeah. That was a, that was a project before. Damn, they got me songs like that. She got a lot of songs, dog. Oh, now, oh, oh, right, go ahead. Oh, that song. What are some signs that you that you know saying the relationship is changing? Like from you, from her. Like, what do you see in, in within yourself and within the other person that like this relationship ain't where it used to be? I mean, you start seeing how people moving. Mm-hmm. You know, first of all, accountability is a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know what the fuck you doing to make this person start changing? Mm-hmm. And then niggas be acting dumb like. But what did I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. she ain't picking up on shit. Sure. And she started getting a little distant. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then you start trying to be like, well, shit, 
Hope I ain't fuck up too bad. And you try to start bringing flowers, do little mm -hmm. shit to try to keep her edging on, but you still over here doing bullshit. Yeah, for sure. You know and that's why I told y'all I believe in like energies and shit is real, man. Mm -hmm. So y'all gotta stick to that. Hell yeah. So you know you're doing some wrong shit. Hell yeah, dude. Some wrong shit gonna happen. She gonna yeah. leave your ass. Yeah, she start coming in different times and shit. Yeah. Time change. Change her behavior. Mm hmm Then you start trying to get mad because you still trying to stay stay strong, stay tough. Mm hmm And you wanna be like, girl, what the fuck you at? <laughs> sure, you know yeah. what I'm saying? No, you fucking up too. Yeah. Yeah. So. We all been there, dog. We all been there. On lost love, you say I can't get the time back. Let's talk about that with just in general, just with life, with love, like do you ever think about times and situations that, damn, I can't get that back. I wish I would have did this differently. Everybody, I think everybody had those moments. Mm -hmm. Like where if you would have went left instead of right that one day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. What's some shit that you, you you go back and change right now? Not not even just relationship wise, career wise, personal. Like, is there anything that you could think of that you'll go back and and change, or you just keep everything how it is? I think I, I like I keep shit how it is because. I wouldn't be the person I am mm -hmm. if I didn't go through the shit that I went through for real. Mm -hmm. I'd probably still be out here childish as hell, mm -hmm. doing shit. So the shit I went through helped me grow as a man, for sure. Mm -hmm. on, the, on Soulmate, I just want to talk about just that in general. Like, you find your wife and stuff. Like, I know you touched on it, but what was the one specific thing that made you feel like this is, you know saying, she the one for me? Uh, she wasn't needy like the other chicks. Yeah. So she kind of just singled herself out for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It made me like look at her different. Mm hmm Because it wasn't the same. Yeah. Now, uh, on the vibe, you said fine as hell, no makeup on. No makeup. Do you like do you like that shit? Like just seeing somebody for like their true self, like Yeah. You know I like, what I'm I like seeing the true beauty. I don't like seeing all that extra shit. Mm-hmm. No. No. Cause you know, you you wanna be putting on no hair weave and that shit fall off. You might have <laughs> different. Yeah. You want to get a chick from the club, you wake up, she a whole different motherfucker person. Oh, yeah, yeah man. On the pillow. Yeah, we had that before. You know, you don't want to take a bitch clothes off and she, you see all these contraptions, contraptions, and then all her she just she fucking and hide and just fall down. Yeah, yeah for sure. Gravity. Gravity didn't even you know fuck, fuck you up. You know, it's just be shit like that. Just be true to y'all. We we see you all, you know what I'm saying, a little, everybody like a, might like a voluptuous woman. Mm -hmm. You know, some people might like them a little smart on the end. Some people might like them a little funny looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, there's <laughs> somebody out there for everybody. Be yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the, the last one, the blues, you say, I don't blame you. I don't blame you, girl, if you want to leave. Like, you, you was like, ever, ever, ever okay? Like, all right, shit, I know you want to leave. Go ahead. Like, it's all good. I'm always like that. Yeah. Because I always want people to choose self-happiness over everything. Mm -hmm. Like, make sure that you're happy with whatever decision you're making. Yeah. So you leave and go ahead. Yeah. I can deal with what I got to deal with. You ain't got to worry about me. Yeah. So you you good with her leaving? Like, you ain't hurt? Like, you ain't, of course you ain't trying you to stop it? Like, you going to be hurt. But why would you want to stop somebody else from trying to find true happiness? Yeah. That's Maybe some, That's just some fuckboy shit, right? Yeah. You, you said hey, some fuckboy shit on the song, Super 4. <laughs> yeah, I know. I did. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Now, uh, on Falling Tears, though, you said, I got the roll on my back. It might cause a little pressure. Always, I was always taught to never fall under pressure. Mm hmm just talk about that, man. Having a roll on your back and just, you know what I'm saying, trying to deal with things, bro. Let me drop some shit, boy. <laughs> I got the world on my back. It might cause a little pressure. Yeah. Talk about that, bro. Just like... <laughs> See, funny as hell, though. But, um, you know, just basically like you... Just feeling like you always got to take the lead in certain situations. Feeling like um, a lot of people calling you for a lot of shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But you, and this, they looking to you for for strength, so you can't fold. You know what I'm saying? So, but in the end, you're like, well, damn, who can I turn to? Who can I look to? Exactly for the strength. Yeah, you get me. So I just had to flip that in my um in my reality and just make it make that my strength. Like, all right, I know. You know what I'm saying? These people out here generally care for me. They need me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I need them just as much as they need me type shit. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. What's what's some, uh, with music wise, man, what's some long term, short term goals you have, dog? Like, what, what you want to see yourself in five years and where you want to see shit going in within this year? In five years? Mm -hmm. I don't even be thinking ahead that, that far ahead in the future. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. I do shit day by day. For sure. So I don't, I don't like I don't like answering that question because I ain't got no answer for it. Okay. What about this year? Um, just be um just to to gain more um fans and exposure. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, and and just get people gravitating towards my music and, and just vibing out to my shit for real. for sure for sure. Now we we talked about one person that kind of got canceled with R. Kelly, but uh P Diddy making the band. You know what I'm saying? We all know about making the band back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Dylan chopping and shit. You had your own band, bro. Your own album. You and four other people. 
Who would it be? It could be singers. It could be rappers. It could be producers. Oh, I could make me a super group. Yep. You and four other people. Oh, what would be your band now? Oh, shit. That's a good one. Let's see. It could be all singers, all rappers, all producers. Like just you and four other people. So me, um, the producer I work with probably be uh, my producer. Okay. Uh, Buddha. Shout out. Shout out to Buddha. Um, you got three other spots. Who will fucking who will rap on my shit? I take uh, I take the old uh, the old fifty. Okay, jump on okay. my shit for sure, for sure. Not not, not old fifty in age, but old fifty <laughs> yeah, sure. back in the day. Yeah, jump on my shit. Yep. Um. So you got two more spots now. You booted fifty, and singer wise, um. I'll probably tap into David Ruffin by herself. Okay, okay. Hell yeah, that's, that's unique. Dave Ruffin was a nigga. I need, I need, hey, shit, I, I need a female, so I'm probably going to tap in with uh, Jasmine Sullivan. Okay, hell yeah, I fuck with that. I fuck with that shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I think we make something dope. Hell yeah, hell yeah. They Ruffin, that motherfucker, boy. Yeah, yeah, him and 50 Cent just be funny. Just so I, I just, I just want to watch them in the group. <laughs> so I just laugh. What, what's your advice to someone that wants to start something but afraid of failing? Just start. Yeah, just get that shit done, huh? Yeah. Like, get out your own way. Because mm -hmm. all of us be in our own way, when, when, especially when it comes to starting some shit. What's your advice right now to your young you? Young me. What's you got to chill out, bro. Yeah. Just chill. Stop being wild, dog. Uh, just chill, man. Stop being on that bullshit. <laughs> just chill. Anything new that you want to start outside of music? Uh, yeah. Um, I want to... um. I want to start like a, a studio, like a um, one of them those spots where people just come through and make video. We ain't got that shit here. Mm -hmm. Where people can come through with like these different rooms, yeah, and just record their videos in one spot. Mm -hmm. Like you know, they want to they want a room where they in like a um like one of them big ass like mansion beds and all that yeah. shit. I want I want rooms and shit like that for people like a building for people just come through and just create their content, mm -hmm. create their videos and all that shit and collab in one spot instead of traveling every fucking work. Mm -hmm. Cause that shit get ridiculous. <laughs> would you ever, would you ever say fuck the music and be a, just a strictly writer for somebody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they, if they, if they do the shit right, yep. Yeah, you'll be okay. Like your song blew up, and you not the one behind the mic. It's, it's yeah. done. Yeah, I, I believe in uh, what's for you is for you. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's what's for somebody else is for somebody else. Shit, yeah. Like, that wasn't for me to fucking blow up off of. Yeah, and somebody else get that bitch and take off with it. Mm -hmm. Nah. I fucks with that. What's success look like in your in your eyes? Like how's success for you? Eating. Yeah. You know, as long as everybody good, you, your family taking care of me, you straight. Mm -hmm. You know. That's the only thing that matter. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Now I do these little things at the end, bro. I ask different questions and shit, dog. Give me your answer, man. All right. So uh if it's is this one of those if it's both we gotta take a shot type shit? No, 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 uh, no, no. I don't wanna right. get too drunk. <laughs> too <laughs> early, too late, or right on time. Sex. First time having sex was it too early, too late, or right on time? Too early. Too early? Yeah. Figuring out life. Too early. Too early? Yeah. Moving out your parents' house. Way too early. <laughs> oh, you trying to get the fuck on, huh? Yeah. I, I wasn't trying to be ruled by out for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, the first sign, you be like, I'm out. Yeah, for sure. And then you you fucking regret the shot that shit when life started lifing. Yeah, hell yeah. First relationship. Oh, that one. That was right on time for sure. Right on time. Mm -hmm. uh, first job. I needed it right on time. <laughs> Leaving a messed up relationship. Uh, maybe they was all good people, so I was the fucked up person in that situation, so I can't even fucking... <laughs> I don't know how they feel. They live right on time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, starting music. Uh, I feel like timing, right on time. All timing right. is everything for sure. First album. I don't know because I was in love with that motherfucker when they first released it. Yeah. Uh, I guess you could say right on time because I, I ain't I wasn't nearly as strong as a singer back then. Yeah. Find out Santa Claus wasn't real. I don't think I never believed in that nigga. <laughs> and for real, I seen my parents fucking rapping the gifts and shit <laughs> early. Okay, okay. Yeah. What? Now I got another one. What's worse, 
So I give you two things. You tell me what's worse. What's worse, worse, messing up on stage or messing up in the studio? Neither. Cause all it's all it's all about how you uh you deal with it for real. Yeah. You fuck up on stage. You might just have to hit a little hum in the ring. <laughs> you know. Tell the crowd through his ears. You, know? <laughs> you got to finesse that shit. It's all about, I guess, about who you are as a person. If you feel like you can take control of that situation, then cool. Mm-hmm. But messing up the studio, everybody going to do that shit. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. What's worse, man? Failing at something or not starting? I think not starting. Not starting? Because I'd rather fail at it than not start it. Mm-hmm. So, yep. Yeah. What's for us? Find out your parents aren't your real parents, or find out your siblings are adopted. Damn, that's some life shit too. <laughs> uh, I think the the parents thing. All right, all right. What's worse, not having money on Christmas for your kids, or not having money for their birthday? Neither, because y'all get shit all the time. Fuck all, them. Fuck all that shit. No, what's... I, I dare sure believe in the motherfucking Christmas. <laughs> For sure. What's worse, man? Losing losing your girl to your homeboy or losing your girl to your ex? Wait, to uh, so my ex? Mm-hmm. Damn, she gonna switch sides up shit? <laughs> shit, just lo- losing them to life because it's over with for that motherfucker. <laughs> Wish you motherfucker would. <laughs> Duh. I, I love you, bitch. I, I love you. Mm-hmm. You gonna go and switch up on me like that? Nah. What's worse, dog? No car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib? Damn. I'd rather take the crib. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Car. I'll catch the bus fucking yeah, over that bitch. Hell yeah, taxi that bus. Yeah. Do they still take the taxis? That shit crazy. 9637000 was the number and shit. I remember that shit. <laughs> that shit don't hit right, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> for sure, I, to, I, I got my first kid from, a, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I shot dice, got some money. Mm-hmm. Come over. I'm going to see you a cab. Print it. Damn. Cause I'm bought in the night. Every day, thinking about how seventy them up. I'm like, yeah, I, I went crazy. <laughs> What's worse, man, being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short nigga with tall legs? <laughs> bro, being short anything is fucking hilarious, bro. So I'm short, dog. Damn, I'm dog. short niggas, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to the short niggas, bro. Y'all be reaching high. <laughs> Hey nigga, I need a stool in that motherfucker. That that, 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 that make you feel bad when your girl asks you to reach for something you need. Bro, that's <laughs> embarrassing. Look at that bitch. Like, you like, hold on, let me get my steps too. <laughs> no, I got to jump. I got <laughs> she needs a motherfucker count. <laughs> right. You look like one of the kids and shit jumping up there trying to get the cereal down out of the refrigerator and shit. Like, nigga, if you don't fucking grow up. <laughs> you gonna take it to personal? Oh, sorry. As a rapper, what's worse, dog? A nigga wearing fake jewelry or fake designer clothes? I don't know. Who gonna know? Shit, you? Who really checking for it? Yeah. Now you confident wearing some fake shit, nigga? Do you? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Your motherfucking money. Yeah, yeah. All right, what's worse, dog? Relationship and then she's saying she gonna kill somebody? I mean, kill you or kill herself? Damn. She weird as fuck for that. Um. <laughs> Damn. I ain't no motherfucking we drink to that because that's some fucked up shit. I don't want to choose. <laughs> Tiff, don't kill me, bitch. <laughs> don't kill me. All right. That's all. That's my answer. All right, dog. Uh, I got two more left, dog. And we, we done, dog. Nah. What's worse, dog? Titties with no nipples or nipples with no titties? <laughs> like, she's got a nigga that this bitch is there, nigga. Nipples. No, t- no motherfucking pumps. Nothing. Not even a nip, you said? Nipple, nipples. Titties with no nipples? So you just got titties. Or nipples and no titties. That's for me to look at? Yeah. On the shit? Yeah. What the fuck? Nigga, feel with nipples, no titties? That's a nigga, ain't it? <laughs> now bitches got flat chest, nigga. Oh. Could have had cancer. Oh, shit, my bad. Oh, damn, somebody... Is it like an inverted nipple or just ain't no nipple at all? <laughs> it's just fucked up, dog. Because it's one of those bitches I could just lick and then that bitch start poking out. Then I take that motherfucker. Because a no nipple, that shit look like an elbow. <laughs> a fan's elbow. When grow my elbows with yeah, me. them little auntie elbows. The one that do all the cooking in the family. <laughs> Make the good <laughs> motherfucking greens in me. All right, last one, dog. Last one, dog. <laughs> Flabby elbow up there. <laughs> uh, last one, dog. Last one, dog. You kiss your girl on her breath stink or you eat her motherfucking pussy in her box stink? 
I ain't fucking with no stanky bitch. Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> you say you, you cancel both of what, what what would you do? I'd rather deal with the with the with the with the breath than the pussy dog. Okay, you know stink pussy dog. Sure. Yeah. But stink breath, I'll probably throw it. I don't like smelling stink shit. But you down there with that pussy, that's a different type of odor. And when you know that before you even get down there? Maybe. So you just a nasty nigga trying to ignore it anyway. <laughs> that shit wild. <laughs> I definitely didn't fucking just say ignore some shit, hit some shit now. Nah. I Fuck thought it. I smell something. Yeah, we a little too quick. Duh, duh, man. That shit. Man, I appreciate you coming on this bitch, dog. Oh, yeah, man. Appreciate you for having me, man. Yeah, yeah. This was, this was dope, was fun, tell, tell people where you can find you on social media. Uh, Y'all can find me everywhere at Javante underscore underscore music on everything. Hey, I followed you, cuz. We didn't follow yeah. back, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Five, <laughs> nigga, yes, nigga, yeah, shit, yeah. I'm going to follow you as soon as I get on there. Duh, fuck you, dog. Yeah. You want to leave anybody with some motivation words and shit, man? Some encouragement? Um, Stay true to self. Mm. Always lead with love mm. and just be you. Do your thing, man. For sure, for sure. How can you find your music, man? That's it. Hey, search uh, something. You, just, you can find my music everywhere um, on YouTube, Apple Music, all that shit. Um, at Javante, that's J A V A N T E. Don't sure. spell my shit with no O evil. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure, man. Like I said, man, it's episode 197. Got Javante in the building, man. You know it. That boy used to be, uh, uh, take on wild and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? But he a better man, dog. He's a married man, dog. He a, he a changed man. Yeah. He a Christian man. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Christian. Shout out to everybody. Episode 197, man. If you short, grow up. If you got titties, get nipples. We out this bitch, dog.